Okay, hi everyone. I'll start with the first question and then we'll go to questions in the room. Simona, um, probably not the result you wanted, but just talk us through the match from your perspective and how you, Serena played tonight. Yeah, it was a tough match. She played really well and uh, definitely she deserved to win tonight. I feel like the serve didn't help me much and uh, that's why I couldn't take the lead more in the second set. Okay, questions from the room? Karen? At 3-3 three, three in the second, you guys had two, a 20-stroke rally and I think like a 12-stroke rally, and she um, won them both to, that, that seemed like um, kind of the turning point where she was able to uh, um, get the momentum she needed to get across. Can you, what were you um, thinking at that point? My feeling after this uh, this match uh, is that I was not that far, uh, but um, also she was uh, stronger in the in the important moments. I had a three one in the second set and serve didn't help me much, so I had to do to be a little bit stronger on the serve, but uh, didn't work today. And uh, she was very powerful at the return. So uh, yeah, those long rallies were very very important. Um, in my opinion, I had a good game tonight. I'm not that disappointed about myself. Uh, attitude maybe a little bit too negative the whole tournament, but I'm gonna work on this and uh, I will come back stronger for sure with that. It, it sounds like you feel as if she beat you, you did not lose. Yeah, I accept that she beat me, but also if I could be a little bit stronger with the surf, the chance um, could have been a little bit bigger for me. Aki? Can you talk a little bit about your return? Seems like you kept changing your position of returning and uh, seems like you could read her where she serves sometimes. Yeah, I felt very strong at the return. Um, I broke her in the second set um, and I got that confidence. But she didn't serve that strong today. She mixed it, so that's why I was changing my position. I feel like I was good in all the ways, but serve was um, the, the key that didn't work. Let me make sure. So you said that she doesn't serve that strong. That means she didn't serve as strong as she does normally. She was 170, 170. She keeps changing her. Rhythm. Yeah, she she kept changing. I felt that, and uh, I, that's why I was just trying to change my position as well. Thank you. Okay, uh, Karen. I'm not quite sure how to word this. Did you feel you were? Um, so perfect in that Wimbledon final. Um, did you get the sense that she was out to avenge that defeat in particular since that was the last time you guys met? Well, it's a long time ago when we played in Wimbledon and it's different surface. As I said before, two days ago, that is going to be different, different match. Uh, the matches are not the same all the time, so I didn't expect to be like that. I knew that uh, it's going to be a strong one and I have to do my best to win it. Um, so, no, I didn't have in my mind what happened there. I just went on court with the belief that I, can, I have the chance to win, but I knew that it's going to be really hard. Any more in the room? Oh, Aki? Uh, what is your schedule after this tournament? Are you going to the Middle East or...? I go uh, home and then Doha, Dubai normally. Okay. Um, go for it. A lot of people have been saying Serena's been playing better recently. Did you feel that a lot today? Yeah, she's okay. moving better and uh, she hits strong, the balls. Uh, yeah, I feel like she she's in a good shape now and uh, it's really good uh, game. She has a really good game. Okay. Always did, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we're good to switch online, Sean. We'll switch to online questions now from the WTA. Courtney, first question, thank you. Simona, you've obviously played Serena multiple times over the course of your careers. Um, on the topic of her movement, um, how, how do you rate how she's moving right now compared to, you know, the other times earlier in her, your, your career that you've played her? Well, I felt like she's moving really well today, but I cannot compare the matches. Um, I don't really remember everything from those matches, but uh, today I felt her she's running more and she's uh, next to the ball better. 
And then just in general, looking at your tournament and not just here, but also, you know, just the start of the season and everything like that. Do you leave feeling like you're you're in a good way? Do you leave frustrated? What's your mindset? A little bit frustrated about the negativity on the court. I've been complaining a little bit too much, I think. Um, but uh, tennis way, I think I did a good job. Uh, I work hard in the off season, and um, here I could see how much I improved in some things. So I um, I'm positive on that on tennis, and I have confidence. But I still have to work to get back in uh, the good shape mentally. <laughs> I, I would sorry one more question but I was going to ask you about that because I asked Darren about it yesterday and he told me to ask you so okay. why has it been that you've been a little bit more chippy uh, more talkative during uh, the Australian Open probably I felt the pressure after three four months without uh, an official match and um, you know I didn't know what's going on here how what to expect so probably the tension i felt it more and uh, i didn't know how to manage it that well but uh, i haven't been that bad so <laughs> i'm i'm still okay but i need to yeah i need to get better thank next you. question thomas thank you hi simona your compatriot great double specialist and fabulous champion hori after cow Last, he told me that he climbed the Moldovanu, the highest peak in uh, Romania. Would you love to climb that mountain in the future? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can, but yeah, I would love to. Thank you. Next question from The Guardian to Maini. Thank you. Hi, Simona. Uh, Hello. Sorry, another, quest another question about Serena's movement. I just wanted to know what's kind of the most difficult thing about kind of facing her when she's moving better. Is You know, is it harder to kind of get her out of position, you know, yeah. Her strong is um, very, her uh, her shots are very strong, so um, you need to be very strong on the legs to try to move her, to open the court. And uh, the fact that she's moving better, um, of course, it's a good good thing for her. It's much easier to, to hit the balls, and uh, it's tougher for the opponents to finish the point.